Fly, Fly FM. Okay, all right. So you know what? I just watched Fantasy Island literally a few hours before meeting you, good. and I loved it. I love all of the plot twists. Oh, it's amazing. Oh, yeah. So I want to know from your perspective, Maggie. Tell us what the movie is roughly about. Um, it's about wish fulfillment, right?、Uh, and it's it's. I think the theme of it generally is is to be careful what you wish for, right?、Um, there are two rules on the island. One is that you can have any fantasy you want, and the second rule is that once you choose it, that you have to follow it all the way through.、Um, so you know, it's it's really about. I think. Um, if you get what you want, what then is the consequence of getting everything you want? And you know,、oh. it's really kind of a life metaphor. So, but the overarching theme, I think, is something that you know, I, even though it's a movie and it's entertaining, I think the overarching theme is something that we we all kind of get understand. Wow. Okay. All right. So, how was it like auditioning for this movie? I mean, I'm assuming you did audition for this movie, or like, how was it like getting into it? Yeah. Tell us the story.、Um, I didn't audition for the movie. <laughs> oh.、Um, okay. I was offered the film, which was really nice, and、um, I, you know, I, I, I wasn't totally convinced that something like this could work, to be honest. But that was pre-reading the script. And then when I read it,、uh, I, I became interested because of the material.、Um, there's so many remakes or reimaginings, or you know, this is not a remake because Fantasy Island, the film, you know, this is a this is the film. Obviously, it's a little different, but you know, there's a lot of that that goes on, and I don't know that it all works. And so I wasn't convinced that it would. And then when I read the script, I thought, oh well, this is a nice, this is a very very interesting take on this, and I didn't I didn't expect it to be honest. And then when they started, they attached Michael to the movie, and then they wanted to cast me, and then get the rest of the cast after they cast the female lead, and then、um, and then it, everything started to build and get really interesting. And then I thought that everyone they cast was so perfect for the film that、um, uh, my process was really about meeting the director and seeing if I, he was convincing enough as a director to, to me personally. You have to have. A respect for the director, and and it, I, it may sound strange, but there are a lot of directors I work with, or not a lot, but there are directors I worked with that I didn't have respect for, and it was、uh, very challenging. And so now I think more than ever, I'm very very picky about which directors I want to work with because they really will make or break your experience. So I sat with him. He wrote it with his partners, and. I was very convinced about his passion and what he wanted to do, and so he was really the last key to to me going. Okay, this is this is something that I may do, and that's kind of how how the cookie crumbled. It was many steps. Wow,、yeah. you know what? We're gonna be like Maggie Q. You know, just be like, oh, you want to give it to me? I'll take it <laughs> instead of oh, I want to be in this movie. Well, it certainly doesn't always happen that way. That's for sure. You know, there's some things you have to fight for. There's some things you're offered. So you know, it's always a It's always a surprise what comes down. It's always a surprise. It is, it is. <laughs> All right, Maggie. You know, you're you've been in so many movies,、um, very very amazing movies, and I feel like when you play a lot of characters in those movies, you sort of take something from those characters. So, what would you say you have taken from Gwen Olsen? Oh, that's very smart of you.、Um, I I like the idea of showing people that the grass is not always greener with this film. And that you know that the destination is better than the journey. This is this is not true, and we know this in life. But we're human, so we're imperfect, and and we have expectations about things. But the truth is, to live in regret is a prison, right? You can regret things, and it's fine to do that. But to be able to look at what it is that you contributed to the thing that you regret, and be able to fix that, or make it better, or be better, is key. And that's really what it is. And I and I I, I don't want people to. To walk away from the movie not understanding that you know wherever we're at, it's good. You know, wanting more is is not going to make you happy. It it, it it's it's really、um, it's 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 it works in theory, but not in practice. Wow! All right, last question for you, Maggie. What do you want to say to all of us Malaysians right now? Tell us why we should watch Fantasy Island. So many reasons.、Uh, <laughs> I, well, I'm excited. This is coming out on Valentine's Day because I think it is the perfect Valentine's Day movie, especially if you just recently started dating someone and you want to get a little more proxy without, you know, and it be organic because it is a bit of a scary movie.、Um, I, 
because I because I can't come back to Malaysia as often as I like, um, this is sort of a way for me to see my Malaysian audience. So I'd love to see them again in the theaters. Um, and until then, until I see you guys again, I'll see you on the big screen. And I really, really hope everyone enjoys this. We worked really hard on it, and yeah, we hope you like it. Oh, All right, thank you so, so much. much, Maggie. It was so nice meeting you. you hope to see you soon. Okay. Come to Malaysia, okay? Thank you so much. <laughs> Appreciate it. Bye. Bye. Fly FM, today's hottest music.